This tutorial explains how to add multiple new columns to a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 7 of the code. So if you run line 2 of the code, the pandas library is imported. And then in the next step, in lines 4 to 6 of the code, we are creating an example data frame that is called data. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame called data is appearing. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains four rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Then in the next step, we need to create certain lists that we can append as new columns to our data frame. And we can do that, as you can see, in lines 9 to 13. So in line 9, I'm creating a first list, which is called new1. So if you run this line of code, a new list object is appearing at the top right, which is called new1. And we can print this list to the bottom right by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that our first list contains the letters x, xx, xxx, and xxxx. And then in the next step, we have to create another list that we also can append as new column to our data frame. And we can do that, as you can see, in line 12 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another list object is appearing at the top right, which is called new2. And we can print this list to the bottom right as well by running line 13 of the code. And then you can see that this list contains the values 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, if we want to create a new data frame which contains our input data frame and the two list objects as new columns, then it makes a lot of sense to first create a copy of our input data frame because usually you also want to keep an original version of your input data frame. And we can do that as you can see in line 15 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values as our data frame, which is called data. And then in the next line, in line 16 of the code, I'm adding multiple new columns to this data frame. And I'm doing that by specifying the name of our new data frame. Then I'm using square brackets. And within the square brackets, I'm specifying the name of the first new column. Then I'm using a comma. Then I'm specifying again our new data frame and square brackets. And then within the square brackets, the name of the second new column that I want to create. So in this case, new2. Then I'm using the equal operator. And then I'm specifying a list which contains all the new columns that I want to append to our data frame. So in this case, the values of these new columns are contained in the list objects new1 and new2. So if you run line 16 of the code, our new data frame is updated. And you can see that by printing the new data frame once again to the bottom right by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that our new data frame contains the three columns of our input data frame, as well as the list objects new1 and new2 as new columns. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.